Hello, welcome back to our Ottoman Empire Let's Play. Uh, we are going to take a look around the world, what we uh, can see here. I believe I've told you, but I like it when other Let's Players do a bit of a... Uh, have a li little look around and see what's going on around, because this game can create some really weird situations. Um, actually, I can't see... Uh, well, there are a couple of things here I can see. Um, England, um, I believe I've been watching this situation before. England has gotten back from, well, a very disastrous situation. Um, they are now back in business, as it seems. I think England also has the Corfu Islands uh, outside our coast here. I can't get my pointer. Uh, yeah, it's English the core little islands there uh, and in the last episode we saw that Castile and Naples went to war uh, Castile has now taken over this uh, Libya territory here while Naples still has this but I think it's going to fall to Castile so our new neighbors down there will be Castile I bet mm. France is forming up really nicely there uh, they are going to be scary sooner or later uh, Denmark used to be a real superpower up there in the in the north but uh, no more uh, something has happened I think they're at war with the Hansa yeah and the Hansa has uh, taken a lot of their territory I think these parts are occupied by Riga uh, Riga is obviously getting quite strong up there in cooperation with uh, the Hansa. We have been at war with these two as well. Uh, yeah, things are happening in the north. Uh, Brandenburg uh, is now uh, larger. Um, what else? Uh, nothing really I can see at this point that catches my eye. Poland is quite small, having rebel problems. Uh, yeah, the Golden Horde still exists. It's still powerful and large. I think this territory also, which borders us, is their space. Uh, Georgia has grown. Uh, I think we could beat them very soundly in a war, take a few of the provinces if we wanted to. Oman is still great and scary down here. Uh, we are going to have to take care of them sooner or later I think um, yeah Timurid Empire falling apart there nothing uh, really some big empires over in India now oh well yeah but uh, we have our own problems to take care of now and we are going to continue here uh, I'd like to build some stuff but our economy is really quite down now which is unfortunate. Uh, we are, I'm just waiting for the next idea. Oh yes, here comes the Golden Horde. Mm. We have been warned by Aragon. I'm going to send... I'm going to send the Western Army in support of the uh, main army here, uh, because the Golden Horde is coming again. I'm going to let them start besieging our territories and then take them out one by one, try and get them to concede defeat yeah we have a fort there <coughs> this army will stay here too uh, because there might be rebellions down there so yeah we are facing the golden horde again large armies coming in there unfortunately we have been warned by portugal yeah because well our infamy is not really that high anymore They have a couple of strong... Uh, actually, they can have this area if they want, uh, but... Uh, but uh, we are going to send our armies into Armenia to take it back. Let's march right now. I think we could beat them already with this. Here come our good allies. Oh yes, that's the stability. We will soon be getting our idea then. It's going to be here by when? November. 
we are now in September, so yeah, very soon we'll get that excellent, excellent idea which we've been waiting for. I'm going for bureaucracy, no question about it. It will help our economy. Oh, we are doing a royal net gain now all of a sudden. I'm going in now to Armenia. Actually. You are coming in support. Yeah, those guys are just losing now, so... Here we are, Government Tech 9. This is what I've been waiting for now. I'm going with the... Uh, I'm going with bureaucracy, no question about it. It will make us very rich now. Uh, we are doing a net gain of 2 to 1 annually. Really royal already, but we are going to get rich. I've been thinking about bureaucracy for a long time. I could have also gone with Grand Army, I've been checking that out, but uh, no, not yet. Um, we're going to create money first, then we are going to create armies. Yep, the Golden Horde War is going well now. Uh, actually this one is just going to Vaughn now, because I think this one will be retreating in here, and then we're going to follow. Oh, hang on. I still keep pausing the game when, uh, although I know the. Uh, yeah, we are going to follow into Karbag uh, as soon as this army comes along. <coughs> yeah, that's how we'll do it. Now we're going. This is going to be a major battle now. Oh yes, they took Charizor. Go right ahead. I do not care. Yeah, we're in now. We're beating the crap out of the uh, Golden Horde. Here they come with their Charizor army. Very well, good battle, good victory. Uh, they are now going into where? Armenia. There will be a lot of enemy troops there. I hope our allies will now come along for the ride here, from here. Because we need them now in Armenia. No, they are standing there, of course they are. Sometimes they do stupid stuff, but other th times they are really useful. Gain one stability, we don't need that. 10 army tradition, 10 navy tradition. I'm going with that, so that's excellent. We might, s uh, we still have a good chance here. Our troops are better and our morale is way better. Yeah, they're losing men. We're chasing them off. Okay. They are going to Karbag again. Uh, We should follow. One is going to Charizor though. One of their retreating armies. We'll take care of the Karbag. We, I mean we have our allies there as well. So I hope to take out this Golden Horde army and then get them to just seed. Very well. A revolt in Beirut. Beirut was a problem area already during the 1400s. Very well. Karabag was won. They are retreating to Armenia. We are following. We have 25,000 men. Our allies are in here as well. Serbia. <coughs> then we're going into Sherisor with one army. Beirut was one. Did we take him out? Yes, we did. Return these to Gaza. I think it's their station. 
Let's continue here. Armenia was won. He still has a, f a bit of juice in him. Karabag, both of them. Yeah, let's follow. Then we'll put up a siege there. Uh, actually, could we follow with only one army? Yeah, we could. We'll send these 12,000 there. Uh, and these here. Yeah, that should do it. Take out this as well. Yeah, the Golden Horde is at its end. I can see that because their troops are really bad now. They can't put up a fight anymore. Battle of Karabag was won. He got totally annihilated. He is now... This guy is now fleeing into Azerbaijan. We caught him. And we're fighting him. We're actually losing more here. There we are. Sherry is always one. We can't follow him into Persian territory. But yeah, we chased him out of our domain. So let's just put siege to these two provinces now. Yeah, we're making good money. Revolt in Naxos. Oh god, yeah, that's a fair distance. That is a fair distance. I will have to send this army. Um. Oh, come on. There we are. Um, yeah, that's... That's going to be a long trip. Actually, how many are they? They are 4,000. I'm going to ship over a few with my fleet. They are 4,000 rebels. We're going to take some cavalry. 5,000 strong unit there. Uh, cavalry and infantry. We're going to ship them with the navy. That's better, I think. These 5,000. We're going to ship them into Athens. And then march over. Yeah, there we are. Now we go beat them. I hope 5,000 is enough now. Otherwise I could get more. Uh, yeah, it should be enough. Naxos was one, but he is retreating, so... Um, I'm going to send more troops from here. This is 10,000 now, so we are going to get more. Just a couple of thousand. And follow him, he's going to Athens. Naxos again. Uh, oh, we took him out. Uh, well, okay, we don't need to ship any troops anywhere then. Just need to return these guys to their station. Yeah, I'd like to start pushing Georgia around a bit, too.
we will soon be entering the 1500s as well. We are in 1486 now. Oh, a military leader has died. Abdul Mayasid. Um, nope. One of these armies. Yeah, the main army. So I'm going to get myself another general, but um, but I can't assign him quite yet. Uh, hang on. No, I'm messing about now. Uh, recruit general. I think it's this one, Murad Al Alama Alemdar. Okay. I will need to assign him when the battle is uh, when the siege is over, so I can uh, get my army into my own territory there. Very well, our armies are back in order. That was actually quite a good operation against the rebels in Naxos there. Siege of Karabag is over. Yeah, we are now going to take our army out to assign the general. And in the meantime, I bet the uh, Golden Hall will come in again and we'll let them. Because then we can hit them again. Actually, I think we could get a concession of defeat right now. So we're going to try that. Yeah, here, here he comes. Let's assign Mr. Murad Alamdar to lead the army. He's coming in again. Our allies are going in. We don't even need to worry. I'm going to return this army now. Oh yes, we are doing good money now again. We are doing well. Actually that is not going as well as I hoped for our allies there. Siege of Sharizor is over. Uh, that liberates that army. We can then safely return and go beat the... Uh, obviously the, go the Golden Horde won that battle, so we are going to go face them. Come on, boys. Ow. Now what happened? Yeah, the Golden Horde is retreating now. Back to Karabag, and that's where we will take them out. Yeah. Good. Excellent. And they're going into Armenia, so are we. And our allies are joining. Boundary dispute with who? Ah. The Jalaya Reds. Yeah, I don't care about the Jalaya Reds. I'm happy to be at odds with them. Here they come, 7,000. And we took them out completely. Um, do I have colonists? I have two. I could colonize that area. Uh, I could. It would be quite beneficial to have since it pushes my boundaries forward to the uh, Caspian Sea here. Um, so I might actually start colonizing it and uh, just let that colony grow. I will do that. What's the success chance? 72% just like with Armenia then I think. We can now safely field another army if we wanted to. Uh, oh yes, we have a maximum manpower limit of 111,000. So that's really great. <coughs> Let's try to get a colony going though. We'll make an ugly empire. 
Uh, we should have to take over Syria. And perhaps areas of uh, the Jalaya Red Territory, uh, the Jalaya Red State there too. Uh, to get our borders looking nice. Because we want beautiful borders. That succeeded. We now have set the foundations for our colony. We will let it grow. We're going to send our two colonists. I have magistrates. I could now build some fun stuff. Uh, specifically, I'd like to focus on military stuff now. I'm going to just queue training fields for the rich, uh, the manpower provinces here. Um. And workshops. I've yeah, I can afford. Uh, I can afford a lot of good stuff now. We are in November, so yeah, there's no no pressure here. <coughs> Maybe I'd also want to commission a painting just to get that tradition up a bit. I shouldn't forget to work on that, but I do. Let's continue. See if that colony succeeds as well. Uh, I don't want to get out of the Golden Hall War now because I'm doing my colony. When the colony is done I will try to get out of it. With their concession of defeat of course. Syria would be a natural part of the Ottoman Empire. We have a truce with them. Oh yes, of course it failed, of course. This will take a long time to grow. Yeah, it will take a long time to grow. But we might get a colonist pretty soon again. Um, so yeah, we have to wait for them. But how about Syria? We have a truce with them, which will expire in September 1491. Um, opposing military schools. Offensive gain or defensive gain? Okay, this is quite good actually. What do we want? Offensive or defensive? Um, offensive or defensive? <coughs> I'd like an offensive army though. We have been offensive. So, yeah. Uh, I'd really like this to stay somewhere here in the middle, but... Um, yeah. A bit to the offensive side though. So we yeah. are. Yeah, Syria, we need to take that over ASAP. Our infamy is now down, so when our truce expires, we will go get them. We will only need one army for that. Uh, hang on, they might have some big friends. No, they don't. They don't have any friends at all. I wish that truce would expire yesterday, but we have to wait until 1491 for that. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm not going to colonize Charizard at this point. Hang on. Okay, our artillery. We haven't. We are not building artillery at this point, so yeah. We don't really care about that. That was a pointless event right now. Yeah, but it's growing. The colony is growing. Let's, in the meantime, check our um, force limit now. We have 45 regiments in our army. We can support 62. That means we can we can really build a new... we can really build another army. I'm not really going to do it yet because I, I quite don't need it yet. Um, rebellion in Damascus. Uh, I have armies now to cover all the areas and we have no big enemies right now. So we're going to wait with that fourth army just a bit. 
Because arm is cost maintenance. They cost 13. Okay, Damascus was one. They cost 13 in maintenance. <coughs> I think I'll leave that, that army there now. Yeah, our empire is shaping up. We are now the undisputed ruler of our region. Golden Horde has gone to war against Hungary again. Hungary has uh, shrunk, actually. The Ukraine is back. Yeah, Hungary has shrunk. Or has it grown? Uh, has it taken over this? I'm not quite sure. I think Austria has grown though. That's a bit worrying. Denmark has ceded territory to Sweden. Sweden. Uh, Re Riga has gone into Sweden and Skåne. Uh, Skåne is a part of Denmark or was a part of Denmark. A very uh, important part of Denmark. Oh, revolt in Alcarac. This is this. Oh, it's Castile. So Denmark is also having problems with a feisty Castile. Alcarac. Let's go take them out. France has done nothing in a long time now. They seem to be content right now. That's nice to know. Very well. Karak was one. Our allies are now going home. Albania has a rebellion over there. Nice. <coughs> and the Timur downfall is continuing also. Now what happened there? Timurids Oh, they are sending spies against us. Wow. The Golden Horde took over Podolia, as it seems. And they are fighting the Hungarians. The Hungarians are really having problems. But they are doing... F well, no, they aren't. They are doing really badly. Yeah, the colony is only half built yet. Our infamy is now really down. Uh, we can build more stuff now. We're doing good money flow here. I'm going to focus on the economy buildings now. I like to keep the economy going. That was all our magistrates, wasn't it? We have three missionaries as well. So let's check if there are areas we can convert. We have missionaries in all the Greek areas except Morea. So let's send one to Morea. One to uh, here. Did I send one to Morea? What happened there? Yes. And one to Rhodes, actually, the home of the uh, uh, Knights of St. John. Good success chance there, 8% though. Yeah, so now we have missionaries in all these areas here. Hang on, I can't see a missionary in Morea. No, there is a missionary back up. Oh yeah, it's him. Okay, yeah. He, the little figure has ended up in Achaea, but yeah, there are two in Achaea and one of them belongs in Morea. Okay, yeah. Nice. Yeah, so we're really converting all our space into a Sunni now. When Greece is done, it will all be Sunni. And we like the side. Oh, yes, I have forgotten about. I have a rebellion down there. 
Or did they come in from abroad, perhaps? I'm not sure. Oh, and our Master of Mint has died. We need to get another one. But we are going to do that in the next episode, because uh, this episode is now over. I thank you for watching, and cheers.